Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. In today's video, I'm sharing my weekly haul for my family of four plus puppy. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. This week I actually did really good getting just what I needed. You know, the kids are on their summer break now. So we are out of quite a few things and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I grabbed are some more burger buns. We were out of burger buns and what I like to do is keep all of this in my deep freezer. If my deep freezer doesn't have enough space, I put half of the, like one of the packs in my fridge or my fridge freezer, if that makes sense. But I know right now both my freezers are pretty stocked up so I think I can only fit one pack of the buns in my deep freezer and then the other pack I'll just go ahead and put in my fridge and we'll make sure that we have burgers this week. Lately we've been having burgers every week because it's way cheaper and honestly in summer no one's really trying to do the most when it comes to cooking so burger nights are always a thing here in my house and so is paint on my table because the kids have been doing a lot of arts and crafts so there's a lot of paint excuse that i also picked up some hot dog buns we were completely out of hot dog buns i do have a space for this in my deep freezer so i like to keep all of these in the deep freezer and i usually keep one pack out in my fridge whenever we do burgers we normally do hot dogs as well and honestly, what are you a big fan of? Are you a big fan of burgers or hot dogs on the grill? I can only eat hot dogs when they're grilled or air fried. I don't like when they're boiled. It just makes my stomach feel funny and like I literally feel nauseous. But on the grill, I can easily eat one or two hot dogs. And same with a burger. If I have the right toppings and it's grilled, I can enjoy my burger. Um, but leave a comment and let me know what do you prefer, hot dog or burger or sausage or hot dog. Let me know. I also picked up some stir fry frozen veggies. This is going to be our veggie option for the month of July. I'm hoping this bag doesn't finish until the end of the month, but if it does, it won't be the end of the world. It would have meant that we ate 2.5 kilograms of veggies as a side with our dinner, so that's always a good thing. Um, so this is something that's going to go in my deep freezer as well. I also picked up some wild Alaskan salmon. This is sockeye salmon, so it's like more lean and it's not as fatty so be prepared for that and i actually recommend not cooking it for as long as you do like atlantic salmon because sockeye salmon can be a little bit on the dry side but on my meal plan for i think it's this week or next week or maybe at the end of this week i have some cajun salmon on my meal plan for dinner so i wanted to get this big pack because it'll last me for two full meals for my family so I'll do half the pack now and I'll keep the other half in the freezer. Um, and I like sockeye salmon. I just don't get it that often because not everyone in my house likes it. Some of the people here um, just refuse to have it sometimes. And that's okay. Um, I'm not mad at that. When they're in the mood, they're in the mood. Um, this is just good to have for in the freezer. I also picked up some more chocolate milk. The kids came shopping with me and they let me know that we are low on chocolate milk. So I just grabbed more. They like chocolate milk. I like that they like chocolate milk. So I went ahead and grabbed chocolate milk for the kids. I did go ahead and pick up this cold brew. My sister-in-law was telling me how much she loves it. And I've never tried it. And I'm not even a cold brew person because I usually stick to what I like and I do what I like and that's it. But lately I have been needing a pick-me-up midday. And rather than waiting to brew like a whole cup, cool it down, then add the ice and do all the things, I figured this would be a great way to do my iced coffee in the afternoon. So I'll definitely share my thoughts on what I think about this. I do plan to try it this week. Of course, obviously I have two of them. They do need to be refrigerated. I definitely have space in my fridge for it. Um, but if you like this cold brew coffee, leave a comment and let me know what you like about it. I like that it's unsweet. That means I get to sweeten it to my liking. And I also like that it's bold and smooth. I love a good bold coffee flavor. So that's going to be my 
iced coffee but cheaper at home because iced coffee at Tim's lately I feel like the price is just not making sense it's so expensive but I mean I think everything is expensive now so I think this will be a cheaper way out plus it's got my sister-in-law's stamp of approval she always makes amazing recommendations so I have a feeling I'm really gonna like that I'll again share my thoughts later on I also picked up some more organic oat milk we use that for overnight oats we use it for regular oatmeal and lately I've been doing my Vega protein powder with oat milk with ice and I've just been having that as a breakfast if life is just too hectic you know the kids are home from school right now so anything I can do for quick things is like my go-to and sometimes I don't have time to make myself breakfast so I'll do like a protein um, shake with the oat milk and this is also good in smoothies too in case you're trying to figure out what you'd use it for it's good in smoothies and what I like about this is that it doesn't have to be refrigerated so I just store it in my pantry and we have it for a while I love that this week I picked up some grass-fed beef burgers I haven't seen these at the Costco's in Canada but I have seen them in the States they're a third pound burgers they're grass-fed um, and honestly, I wish I had gotten burgers last week when there was a sale for the long weekend, but I wasn't thinking ahead. I was just thinking of beating the long weekend crowd. And um, this week, I need burgers. I got buns, so I need the burgers. Um, we finished all of our burgers over the long weekend, and we finished all our buns over the long weekend as well. So this is going to be our burgers. I haven't tried this one, so... I'll have my husband put it on the grill and I'll put it together and I'll let you know my thoughts on what I think about it. I think it's going to be good. I mean, I like the texture of the Kirkland Signature Burgers the most. My husband likes the texture of the Roadhouse Burgers the most. So I think this is going to be a win for me, but not so much for him. But it's absolutely a win for me because it's grass-fed and that's thumbs up for me. Whenever you can get grass-fed, it's always a better option than normal stuff. And I also picked up some lamb chops. I picked up two packs. Both packs were under $20, $19.48 and $19.29. I'm actually doing lamb chops for dinner tonight. I'm going to do lamb chops with asparagus, cauliflower, and I'll probably do like some potatoes too because I bought a whole bag of potatoes from the grocery store and I really want to use it as much as I can. Um, so anyways, I got some lamb chops for dinner on the meal plan this week and the second pack will be for a future week that way I don't have to think about it again or if people just love it so much they want me to make it again tomorrow I already have two packs I can absolutely do that so I also got some asparagus this is something that I love they had two kinds the markers and the pencils but I like the pencils because they just do they cook much quicker and they sometimes get a little bit crispy which is what I like when you put them in the oven um, but I grabbed asparagus and if you put paper towel inside the bag and then close the bag up, it'll last like two weeks, which is crazy. Like that hack has changed my life. So whenever I buy asparagus, I make sure I go ahead, load that thing up with some paper towel and make sure that it doesn't stay uh, moist because it gets like really weird looking and gross when it gets like all the moisture in the bag from being stored in the fridge. So the paper towel really helps with that. And I love asparagus. Asparagus and lamb is like a perfect combo. I love that. I also picked up some more sweet potatoes. We go through them a lot because I make sweet potatoes for T-Bone every single week. And we like sweet potatoes too. So this is something that we needed. And went ahead and grabbed some more of it. This week I also picked up some of this drinkable yogurt. I never buy this, but my kids are way too big now for the smaller ones that I used to get. Um, so I asked them if they would drink it. They said, yeah, we'll see. I mean, when they were babies, strawberry, banana, anything was their favorite. Right now, vanilla is like just, you know, a safe option. And strawberry has always been a favorite in our house. So I think they're gonna like it. Normally we like to get um, a different kind of yogurt. But I think this would be good for grabbing and going because some days since they're home from school, we're grabbing and going because we have things to do and I have work to do. Um, so this makes it easy for a healthier snack. I don't want to feed them chips every couple hours. So this is something that I can tell them, go grab a yogurt, <laughs> have that instead of having anything from the pantry. I definitely lock off pantry snacks when I see that they've had a lot of them throughout the day. So this is like a healthier option for us to go for. Up here, I grabbed some cereals, 
you know it's summer when I'm picking up a ton of cereal. First I grabbed Honey Bunches of Oats. They were on a sale. We're low on cereal so I went ahead and grabbed more of that. I also grabbed the multigrain Cheerios. We just used up the last bit of our last bag. So we needed more. I felt like I should have grabbed two packages of this, equaling four boxes total, but I figured, let me not commit too much. There's months when no one has cereal, and then there's days when people have cereal every day in this house. So I'm just going to go with what I have here. If we go through it, great. If not, it'll last a while in the pantry and in their containers. Um, but cereal is definitely something I find I get the most during the summer months. It's just one of those quick, easy breakfasts that don't involve heating anything up. So these are the two that are our family's favorite. And I always get those only at Costco. I never buy cereal anywhere else because it's a complete ripoff. Costco is the best price on cereal if your family enjoys cereal too. Now down here, we were out of cheese. And I went ahead and grabbed more medium cheddar cheese. We've been slicing this up and just munching on it, snacking on it. Even T-Bone loves cheese. So this is something that doesn't last as long. And when I do make a pasta dish or anything that needs like taco night shredded cheese, I'll just go ahead and shred that up. And it's cheaper than buying the already shredded. And I find that this melts way better because it's fresh cheese and not like the shredded cheese, which has like the stuff on it that sometimes makes it not melt as good. Um, but this cheese is really good and we went ahead and grabbed another pack. This usually lasts us like two weeks, but you have to be careful. It will go moldy if you don't eat it up in time. So maybe freeze half. I don't know. Leave a comment and share your freeze um, tricks to make sure that you go through it without it getting moldy. Sometimes, especially in humid temperatures, I find that cheese goes bad really quickly and so does produce. Which is why I'm not buying a lot of fresh produce. I'm preferring to get that at the local grocery store these days because a smaller batch is actually better. Unless we're going to be strawberry picking, raspberry picking, or getting anything in season. Plus the farmer's market is open. I like to reserve some funds to spend at the farmer's market. So anyways, grab some cheese. I also picked up some Tropicana fruit mix. This is, or tropical fruit mix, not Tropicana fruit mix. Tropical fruit mix. There are six of them that come in the pack. We love this. This is our go-to for smoothies. I was actually looking for ginger as well because we love to add ginger in our smoothies, but Costco didn't have any. But this is good to have in our freezer, especially on the weekends. We normally do like smoothies with like spadici or bacon, um, basically smoothies and like some kind of salty meat. That's our brunch staple <laughs> so this is for weekend brunch at my house so we do that every single weekend as a family um, and I also picked up two packs of plain bagels what I'll do with these is I'll open each bag up I'll slice them all in half and I'll put them all in this will probably be like two or three Ziploc bags and I'll freeze them that's what I did the last time and none went to waste and none went bad and we went through all of it I still have some everything bagels left um, but that's something specifically for me this is for the kids and when we go to Tim Hortons on the weekends to get like an ice cap and a bagel the bagel is so expensive and it's so small so this is just you know I'm going to try to do the coffee myself at home. I'll probably try to make an ice cap one of these days as well. But in terms of this stuff, this is just cheaper to have it at home. Like, we're at a point now where it's just way cheaper to have bagels at home. That's, that's how expensive things are now. Now, over here, I went and grabbed two bunches of green bananas. <laughs> I wanted to get some yellow-looking bananas, but Costco only had green-looking organic bananas. So I'm hoping that because it's so hot and humid, this will ripen super quick in our house. Um, if not, it'll be like a whole nother week before we can eat them. But I did go ahead and pick up our usual two bunches of bananas. I also picked up some ketchup. I was waiting to get ketchup when there was a sale, but I didn't see a sale over the long weekend. And now that the long weekend is over and we have more burgers in rotation and hot dogs in rotation, we need the ketchup. So... I'm going to just keep an eye out for a price adjustment on this and if it goes on sale anytime this month I'll be sure to get my price adjustment because ketchup always goes on sale. I hate to buy it regular price but I had to do it this week because we're really really low on ketchup. I also picked up this box of Italian pasta. It's just the spaghetti 
my kids love spaghetti we probably do spaghetti night like once a week just to make my life easy especially with like a hectic work week sometimes I don't even think about what we're gonna have for dinner and I can easily just boil some noodles add some sauce or pesto and my kids are content and happy even if you have like tortellini or ravioli like you can do whatever but spaghetti noodles are just a win in my house everyone loves them and I mean who doesn't love a quick and easy spaghetti night I know I do so this is just something to stock up for in my pantry for the entire summer I'm hoping we won't need this again until at least September or October we'll see I don't know how that's gonna go I also picked up some dried mangoes. The kids, again, picked this out. They were with me on the shop. They love dried mangoes. I love this too. It's really good. So I'm happy that they saw that because I wouldn't have grabbed it. It wasn't on my list. I also picked up more ramen noodles. I know last week I picked up two boxes already, but those were fam uh, for family members. So we have none. <laughs> my kids were like, do we have ramen noodles? And I'm like, no. So went ahead and grabbed another box of six. Those are so good. And whenever I make something for dinner that my kids are not going to like, I can just easily make them ramen noodles and they have their dinner. And I don't have to worry about making two separate things. That's one thing I will not do. Um, life is just too hectic for that. So I like to always have stuff like this to help make my life easier. It's only four minutes in the microwave and it's amazing. Best ramen noodles I've had in my life. I love them that much and so do my kids. On my grocery list this week, I also had some compost bags. We were low, so I went ahead and picked up another box. This is 130 of them. And since summer is officially here, we're spending a lot more time outdoors and in the sun. I actually wanted to get a Vino sunscreen, but Costco no longer carries it this year, so I picked up the Neutrogena instead. It's SPF 60, and it's the lotion, so I can easily squirt these out into my travel tubes for when we go on vacation this summer. Um, but I like that there's four of them that should last us for the entire summer and I like that there's it's FPF 60 as I said but it's supposed to be water and sweat resistant so that's a good thing it's lightweight and non-greasy I know it's not like one of the best sunscreens out there but it was on sale and it's gonna do because I can't buy the spray the spray is not safe to use around t-bone so I gotta use that instead I also picked up some sea salt. We need sea salt. It's one of those pantry staples. Lately, I've been using pink salt, and I love pink salt, but for some of the homemade stuff that I do, um, like even the solution to clean my nose ring or the solution to clean our earrings, I like to use salt water to do that. So I make my own solution with sea salt and warm water, and I get that done. So we were out, needed more of that and it looks like did i actually get through everything on this haul i think i did this is everything that i picked up this week for my family of four at costco i'm gonna put away all this freezer stuff i'm gonna put away some things and i'll be back to share a nice quick and easy dinner idea that you can try with your family at home this week during the summer months, we do burger night at least once or twice a week. It's cheaper and so much easier, and I'm taste testing these grass-fed beef burgers that I just picked up this week, and I have to say, you guys, they grill up really nicely. They hold their shape and size very well. They're also the perfect size for the buns that I picked, and overall, I would absolutely buy it again. My husband prefers the texture of the Roadhouse burgers, but let me tell you, these burgers are going to be all mine because I 100% prefer the texture of these burgers. I had it with a hot dog on the side and I'm going to be drinking a buble because I love a bubbly drink whenever I have burgers and fries and things like that. So now moving into what I really wanted to share with you, which is this barbecue chicken pineapple fried rice. I got the inspo from a Costco magazine back in April, but I wanted to make it my own. I wanted to add some protein and I figured barbecue chicken and pineapple is always the perfect combo on a pizza why not make this a combo on fried rice so as you can see here i'm on page 63 of the april costco magazine they did have pineapple fried rice featured here but they wanted me to use like onions and garlic and ginger and bell peppers i didn't feel like doing the work of that so i'm doing things my way which is the 
freeze away basically shopping what I have on hand and dumping it all in making it my own so I'm starting off with some avocado oil that's my oil of choice for today's meal I'm gonna spray my pan I'm using a nonstick pan and a cast iron skillet so the key here is to marinate the chicken to do that I marinate it with like one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce I add a little bit of barbecue sauce and I add about a tablespoon of the barbecue seasoning and a little bit of avocado oil I let that marinate for at least an hour I thawed out some frozen mixed veggies I had in my freezer and I cut up some fresh pineapple I picked up from the grocery store I'm using specifically about two cups of the cut pineapple and about one cup of the frozen veggie mix so all I'm gonna do is get the chicken started and then I'm gonna get started on the fried rice from start to finish once everything is marinated and prepped and ready for you this will be a meal you can put together in just under 15 minutes and I'm doing it all in real time and I'm doing everything all at once. The only thing I did before was cook the rice because you definitely don't want to have hot rice when you're making any sort of fried rice. So anyways, this is super simple. I'm just browning the chicken on both sides, frying up the veggies, then adding in the rice, seasoning all the things up, making sure that it looks right and it tastes right and I'm finishing off with some green onion for garnish. So follow along with me, make this barbecue chicken pineapple fried rice, and let me tell you, it's good on the first day, it's good as a leftover, it's good for dinner, it's good for lunch, it's probably even good for breakfast because it tastes that good. So let's go ahead and make this together. I hope you enjoy this one, and I can't wait to hear if you're adding this to your meal plan for the week. It's as delicious as it looks, and I love it the most because it's affordable and also super healthy compared to ordering out or getting this at a restaurant.
All right, and just like that, we've officially come to the end of this haul. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube know that you're enjoying my videos. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. I share hauls like this every single week. So until the next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.